Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were talking about the uh, LED court uh, that made the its first debut at the NBA All-Star Weekend. And now we're going to be talking about uh, Rachel Dozal, uh, the white woman who was infamous for claiming to be <laughs> black, has been fired over an OnlyFans account. Now, I did not know about this lady at all. Until I oh, got really? this, mm -mm, until you, <laughs> until I got this article from you saying that you wanted to do this on the show. No, I didn't know about this at all. <laughs> okay. That yeah. Do you want to? So, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you roll first. Okay, so Rachel Dizal, the white woman and former National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the NAACP character president who courted major controversy nearly 10 years ago for falsely claiming she was black, has been fired from her position uh, with an Arizona, Arizona school district over an OnlyFans account. Uh, Dizal was employed with the uh, Catalina Foothills School District as an after-school instructor, but was let go this week after administrators were made aware of her apparent presence on OnlyFans, uh, which is a social media subscription platform that caters to adult content. Uh, as of the publication, a link to an, on to an OnlyFans account is accessible through a bio in Dizal's verified Instagram account. The linked OnlyFans account, updated as recently as February 14th, blocks images for non-subscribers but contains identifying information and captions alluding to adult and nude content. So... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm the, I'm I'm waiting on Faith to go first. <laughs> go first? Why? <laughs> like, no, mm. no. <laughs> okay. The first thing is, yes, give you a little background. She, for years, she was an executive at the NAACP. Mm -hmm. She claimed to be a black woman and mm -hmm. went around claiming she was a, and be honest with you, I thought she was black. She does look at least mixed, yes. Yes, I, you know, but then you see some of the pictures before and it's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then she got busted and I don't quote me on this one I'm going she off of memory busted. back then <laughs> she, she got busted being black not being black <laughs> so they they revoked her black card <laughs> that she never really had to begin Did with you, you know it's kind of <laughs> like you you have that ARP card you find out and they take your ARP card so you don't get any extra. You can't go to no a hometown buffet. buffet. <laughs> you, can, you, you can't go to Golden Crown no more. It's kind of like that. She just got her, her membership revoked. So Faith is like, just, just leave it, just let him go. I'm gonna stay out of this all together. <laughs> I, I don't feel like I can really comment on this. <laughs> I'm a, I'm white. <laughs> Are you really? Do we need a DNA test? She, no, I'm white. I'm claimed, white. One hundred. Look, she claimed to be black. <laughs> Did you see her? <laughs> I didn't see before pictures. She at least she's she's got a tan. I look like Casper the ghost over here. Oh, go look at the old pictures. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. And listen, Faith, I understand because don't y'all be canceling my girl Faith because I don't want to pick this topic. So y'all leave my girl alone. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yes, she did kind of. And then she had the nerve. I could have sworn that this could be one of those uh, fables. But she was like, oh, my gosh. See, I told you. You see what I'm talking about? She was like blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. So she tried to say at one point that she was black at heart. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> look at the look on Facebook. Now see, Faith is understanding because now she's went in and down and checked out the pictures. And okay. this, is a this is a delicate dance, Faith. So make sure you stay, keep your A game because I don't want nobody coming after you. But go ahead, fire. Black at heart? What what the hell does that mean? 
<laughs> what yes. does that mean? What does that hey, mean? <laughs> that's where people say desperate things. Okay, she's she's had it in WACP. She didn't made it as her dream. I guess she she made it to this level, and you know, but there's two. This is two stories, and I know we we haven't even touched on the real story. Yeah, because I had to bring my girl Faith up to speed on who she was or who she is or who she claims to be, <laughs> okay? Because <laughs> those are three things there. Yeah. So then fast forward, she loses her job. She loses credibility. People start doing what Faith did, pulling up pictures of her when she yeah. looked like she was like May on Mayberry, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, then, and then you see the the, 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 the change in, in, in her. Yeah. And it's... You know, but then to become all the way down to I'm a school teacher now. I've changed my name. Yeah, I saw that Did she, you notice the name she changed? I it saw to? she changed her name, but I didn't want to like butcher it, <laughs> so I didn't say it. But I, right. I do have. So her name is um, a shortened, shortened version of something from a Nigerian origin, and it means gift of God. That's what her. <laughs> okay yeah and here's the sad thing this woman has done some great things this is a lesson in life for everyone we can all learn from her mistake which is you can do a lot of good things but you can also slip up and one or two little things, two or three white lies, white lies, Pun can get intended. you into a lot of trouble. <laughs> yes, like, okay. You can advocate My girl for- Faith, I just love the look you're giving me here. <laughs> Was it, did I go too far, Faith? <laughs> oh gosh, my internet again. Hello. Hello. One second. Sorry. My internet again. <laughs> face, it's Monday. Your face is froze to <laughs> this. That that face that you gave. Okay. <laughs> there you are again. Okay. I just had that face that face you made there. Sorry. My internet. No. It's it's Monday, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. So fast forward, she's trying to get her life back. She's changed her name to the Nigerian Nightmare, or what did she name name herself? Oh, Faith has moved. It's frozen again <laughs> on me here. Gosh. All right, let's see. I don't know if we're recording or not, but we have. Hold on, guys. We'll be right back. Um, you were asking about her name. Yes. What is her? What's her? What's her Nigerian name again? What does it mean? I don't know. I don't want. Woman. I don't want to. Woman say who, it. who tells too many tall tales. <laughs> yeah. that, that's what. That's what her name is. I just don't okay. want to pronounce it wrong. So. I respect that. <laughs> so fast forward, she gets a job as a school teacher. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I don't, you know, at least she's trying to, she, her, 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 I believe her heart's in the right place. Even when she was at the NAACP, I believe her heart yeah, was in the right you place. Can, you can advocate for minority groups, you know, as a white person, you know. Right. I'm a big supporter. And I'm a big supporter of women's rights and a big supporter of women uh being recognized more in sports don't but, mean i gotta go juana man and put a wig on and everything else and claim that i'm a woman i respect yeah. it but here's the thing where i think her heart has been in the right place whether she's a school teacher or her former uh job is i don't want to say the lie or the story, it's just she's omitting things. And mm -hmm. what she's been omitting has been coming back to haunt her. 
if she would have just came through and just said, listen, I really believe in what the NAA stands for and whatever, and kind of made herself work, work her way through the ranks, I think she'd still have her job today. Just like if she'd have came out and said, listen, I really love the kids. You know, I want to be a teacher, but I do have a past where I have an OnlyFans account and I just want you to know that from everything I know, the account's been taken down or they've been blocked or things of that nature. I think if she'd have went that way and told the truth, you know, this is definitely one of those times where the truth may set you free because if she would have <laughs> came clean, maybe she wouldn't be on the unemployment line. Do you, what do you think? Um, so both of my parents are teachers. I okay. grew up in a teacher household. Good for them. I, I see. I um, like them even more now. <laughs> and for me personally, especially with how easy it is to find things on the internet nowadays and Ooh. how kids are on the internet at a earlier age than I was, you know, I, like, I feel bad, I feel a little bad that she got fired because she had an OnlyFans account, but it, it's also, like, it's it's hard to have control over your classroom and such when they have that type of information on you. I am. And... I am. I keep on going. I let because as as a, I want to hear your side of it and your thoughts as a woman. It's just, you know, do whatever you want to do with your body and whether you want to make money off of it or not but if you want to be a teacher you you can't have your cake and eat it too like i understand teachers are very severely underpaid i mean believe me both my parents are teachers and they don't get paid nearly enough money then they need to be paid so teachers definitely need a raise yeah i mean a um, massive raise so i understand like trying to do something else while you're teaching because you're not making a lot of money. Um, but there are other things that you can do than an OnlyFans account. Well, and okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take. I'm I'm not defending her. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something and then I'm gonna throw it back to you to give you give me your thoughts. Mm -hmm. This has been this is becoming more and more of a thing. She's just one of many teachers. There have been a number of teachers that have gotten in trouble and mm -hmm. suspended because they had an OnlyFans account. Mm -hmm. And yes, technology is out there nowadays and the kids have access to technology. But I, there are like one story, there was a woman, she did an OnlyFans account to get through school. And that was the only way she could go to school and pay for her tuition was through this way. Mm -hmm. um, when I was going through college, I knew a number of ladies that became- uh, Dancers. Thank you. I was trying to think of a wholesome way to say it, dancers. But, and there's a lot of them mm -hmm. that have, that were dancers but they came up in a different time where this digital age, there's not pictures of them. So they can go through and have their crew go through college and everything else and get their degree and be teachers and lawyers and doctors and everything else. But now this digital age, they're trying to get their way through school, which I commend them for, but then they get hired and this pass is out there. If you are if you are a student, if you were someone that needed to do this, and it's 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 not like they broke the law, mm -hmm. that they were they were doing a legal job. They paid their taxes, everything else, and now they want to be a school teacher. They they had the credentials, everything else, and they came out and she let out and just said, Hey, this is part of my past. Mm -hmm. Do you think, one, she should have a chance to be a teacher or you're saying, 
not attacking you. When I say you, I mean the people that are against it is saying that they are not cannot be employed in any profession for the rest of their life because this is popping up in schools, universities, um, all kind of jobs, mm -hmm. and people are getting let go and suspended and and things. What's the answer? It's a it's 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 a touchy subject um, because. I think whatever you want to do, however you want to make your money, as long as it's in a legal way to put yourself through college or whatever you need to do to make your life better, great. Mm -hmm. I support it. Um, the only thing is, like, parents parents have a say uh, in who teaches their children and everything like that. So I don't know if parents would be okay with um, their child's teacher being someone who had an OnlyFans account or still has an OnlyFans account. The question is, not me to make this such a heavy conversation. Yeah. This is not a, this is not a tech facing. It's just asking questions. Where does that parents have a say line? I don't want my, I don't want my kid to be taught by someone with an OnlyFans account. I don't want my kid to be taught by a Democrat. I don't want my mm. kid to be taught by a Republican. I don't want my kid to, for a male, a female, black, white, Indian, where is that line? And that's the thing that makes it so hard, especially, and the reason I bring it up that way, because many people are gonna say, this is very different. Um, is it, it's a legal, it's a legal job. She didn't break the law. You see how there's there's no great answer to that one. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one. But yeah, like I said, it's a touchy, touchy, touchy <laughs> subject. <laughs> touchy subject. As much as like I um, support women and whatever they decide to do with their body and everything like that, um, as long as it's within legal standing, legal guidelines. I respect. <laughs> I under, I understand exactly um, what you're saying. <clears throat> You know, I not everybody is okay with it, and you know, I don't, I don't know if I think if I had a kid and I put them in school, and I feel like it would be worse if she was like a high school teacher or like a middle school teacher. I feel like elementary wouldn't be so bad, but you know, in middle school and high school, you've got kids going through yeah. puberty and everything like that. So that's, I I'm feel like that's you, a different line than like being an elementary school teacher and having an OnlyFans account. 13 year old Andrew Tate would have been like trying to find like, how do I get access to yeah. Mrs. Jenkins? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Mrs. Jenkins, my math teacher, uh, my lang or my language arts teacher, I'm just saying, I'm just making up a name, but I'm just saying. Oh, I thought you were being. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I was like, Tate, I don't need to know that much. About Although I did ask out one of my teachers once. I did do that. That's the Ooh. truth. <laughs> but there's the technology has changed everything. Mm -hmm. And you're right. How, you know, once the kids find out and make no mistake, guys, it doesn't matter. Let's say you do an OnlyFans account or whatever account it is you delete the account you delete the pictures it doesn't matter it's there it doesn't it's there matter. forever it's and there's no way to not and if you're if you're a teacher the minute it gets out especially high school kids they will turn heaven and earth to get those pictures mm -hmm. you know and then once they get them they're sharing them Everyone's yeah. getting messed. Even even the kid nobody likes is getting a copy of those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so it's a dish. It's a, it's a it's an issue. Should do you think she should have got fired? Oof. I'm gonna tell. Okay, let me give you my answer. <laughs> yes, and not here's the reason why. Because there's a track record. Mm. They hired her 
after knowing she withheld her she withheld you know, information about herself yes about <laughs> when she was at the NAACP so there's a history of her withholding information now you hire her knowing Honestly. that past and then it happens again that she's withholding information that's a track record now honestly i'm a little shocked that they gave her a teaching certificate after the whole thing with the NCAACP like i'm a little <laughs> surprised by that honestly but to each his own <laughs> yeah it's it's an, it's an it's an interesting it's an interesting thing i like i said before i don't question that in both jobs she had the right intention because if you look at the two jobs they are jobs that are meant to help people mm -hmm. uh young people or african americans in general minorities so there's a track record of a woman trying to help trying to give her the benefit of the doubt but there is also a track record of of a woman withholding information yeah and and not giving the full story mm -hmm. and that's the reason why i said she should have been let go because the school board the people that hired her have been blindsided mm -hmm. because she knowingly withheld information that's where that's where i see the problem being mm -hmm. so i get we got a little silly we got a little very serious on this one <laughs> This covers it all. Got it all. All right. Well, with that, guys, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about our oddities of the day. <laughs> 